fourth quarter big plays are brought to you by TriStar Auto Group in Somerset. Learn more at TriStarSomerset.com. Fourth quarter action coming up to right now between Westmont and Somerset. Hilltoppers lead by seven, possess the ball, and hand it off to Mason Muto, who refuses to go any other direction than north and picks up a solid chunk of ground. Two plays later, Westmont gets inside the five, Sandy pitches the ball to Camden Moore, then gallops his way in for six. Westmont would lead 21-7. Somerset knows they aren't out of this yet. When you give the ball to Ryan Funa and he has open running room, beware. He breaks a tackle, stiff arms another defender, then breaks into the inside. However, the ref stopped the play, saying that he stepped out of bounds right at the 43-yard line, and when we look at the replay, you see his foot touches out of bounds, his left foot right at the 43-yard line. Later on the drive, Coddington would deliver a smooth deep ball to Ryan Funa, who had no trouble taking the ball in and scoring six. The PAT would be no good, so Somerset still trails by eight. On West Monson's ensuing drive, they would pull off the impossible. They passed the ball! Zero passing yards up until this fourth down conversion to Adam Rozowski, and he would burn down the sideline for the first down and a whole lot more. Westmont would go back to their usual ground game and hand it to Kushner, who escapes the front seven of the Golden Eagles and breaks inside of the 10-yard line. Still up one score and a little over a minute remaining, Santee hands the ball to Muto, who looks like he would be taken down until teammate Tanner Kushner pulls Muto into the end zone. However, that is a penalty and would be called back. Westmont spoils Somerset's homecoming as the Hilltoppers celebrate with head coach Pat Barron, winning 21-13. Somerset falls to 1-4, and four. Westmont improves to 2-3. and three. Make sure to tune in next week. My name is Dave Miller, signing off from the RMG Studio.